Okay, welcome everybody to the Conway Select Board meeting of Monday, September 9th. I'll call the meeting to order. Um, typically, we move on to our guests that are here, but we're still waiting on Jan, so we'll just start <coughs> at the beginning. Um, and first on the agenda would be vote to approve the minutes of August 26, 2024. Uh, motion to approve. Does look good to me. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Next item on the agenda are the warrants. Uh, I went through all the warrants. The, um, the uh, payroll deduction warrant included um, the new cruiser, the new uh, police department cruiser, as well as the highway department loader, compact loader. That was very surprising to see both of those. I was anticipating those to take a little longer. So I'm happy to see that. Um, everything else was status quo. So. I'll go ahead and make a motion to approve the council's payable warrant uh, W25-07 in the amount of $270,506.57. The payroll warrant PW25-07 in the amount of $136,226.22. And the payroll deduction warrant in the amount of $29,293.29. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Welcome. Up here. Place of honor. <laughs> Jan, I hate to do this to you right when you're here, but so you're not staying here all day. Sure, no, absolutely. Um, we'll go ahead and skip to new business. First item on the agenda is discuss and possible discussion and possible vote with Jan on bulky waste pricing and discussion with our transportation employees who have um, graced us with their presence today on the feedback to changes since the modified pays you throw program began in the areas that still need improvement. So um, shall we start with the pays, I'm sorry, the bulky waste? Whichever, however, whichever way you want to go. Sure, let's start with bulky waste. So um, I didn't actually bring the, uh, I don't know if there are kind of final pricing I just, just just the just the estimate, just the numbers we put together. Yeah, you have this. Yeah, I have that. I put that together. So, um, just as as far as background, when when I came a little over a year ago, or maybe it was two years ago now, um, to talk about uh, to give you an overview of where Conway kind of ranks um, compared to area towns or to the county towns in relation to trash tonnage generation, bulk waste tonnage generation, you folks were disproportionately high compared to the number of users at your facility, right? So we, so I gave you numbers and I compared um, like Deerfield, what Deerfield's doing or uh, maybe it was Colerain and Waitley, I, I didn't bring that. Um, and so that was kind of the impetus for the page to program. And as part of that discussion, um, in the beginning. I also shared with you the tonnage numbers, um, and I unfortunately I didn't bring those with me, but I remember, um, and Chris, you had put together a really nice PowerPoint presentation with them, but I remember that um, Conway actually had more bulky waste tonnage than Deerfield. Yeah. Right? Deerfield has, I don't know, like 600, 800 um, permits or 1,000 permits. Um, and so, you know, the, it's kind of, it's the same story, and I think the attendants had, had talked about this, is contractors come, they maybe have a business, you know, their home is in Conway, but they're a small carpenter and they do work in the community or elsewhere, you know, maybe they do a job in Waitley, um, but they, but it's free in Conway, or, but, you know, they, so they bring it to Conway. So it's a very similar situation as to the trash. Um, and it's been a really great service. I mean, nobody's complaining about, you know, um, kind of the, the pricing or not having to pay for um, a bunch of items. And at the same time, the town is, you know, as your budget becomes tighter for other items, this is just a, a place where you're kind of giving away something that other towns charge for. Um, and, you know, to be fair, the town of Roe doesn't charge for bulky waste. So there is a town um, that uh, does not charge, but most towns that are bulky waste um, containers charge. And they, you know, you have the ability to limit. I know this is a, this is a big issue for the attendants as people come in, you, you say no construction and demo, no C&D. 
Um, but you know, people come in with some and they're like, well, it's just a little bit. And we're like, this isn't really demolition debris. You know, it's been in my barn. Or, you know, people, you just have to spend a day at the transfer station and people have really great stories about why they shouldn't, why they should be able to put it in the bulky waste container or why they shouldn't have to pay for whatever they have. So, you know, the conversation today and, and, and whether you want to approve final numbers or you just want to kind of start the conversation. Um, is really looking at what the town is charging. Um, is it enough? So, so there's a bulky waste container, but there's also the electronics. Um, and um, you know, so are you? What do you want to have a fee for? And is the are the current fees enough? Um, the switching gears a little bit to electronics. So electronics, way back, was about. You know, 22 cents a pound. We use a vendor that's um, certified. You know, they're they're using domestic uh, markets for most of their material, so there's a higher price because it's not just all going in a shipping cart to China. Um, and many years ago, it was about 20 cents a pound. So that's $400 a ton. Um, it's currently 37. This is on state contract. 37 cents a pound. So you're up to, almost, you know, like 700 and change per ton. So the heavier things, 37 cents for glass, like a CRT monitor, like an old monitor, an old TV, um, <coughs> things like flat screens, they like laptops, but like a flat screen monitor or a flat screen TV are 33 cents a pound. So it's not free. It's, it's not even close to free. Um, and I know you folks are charging for some, but that, I looked at those prices and I think some of, especially the heavier, it's hard because those old TVs are, you know, nobody uses them anymore. They've been sitting in the basement for years because they, they don't work with anything. Um, those are the more, most costly because the glass is leaded. It's lead, it has leaded glass in it. So, um, you know, I looked at some of the prices with uh, Veronique and, and gone over and, and gave her some of our pricing and some of the, the weights. Um, you know, how much does a, does a small TV, glass TV weigh? How much does a larger TV weigh? How much does a flat screen, uh, five foot flat screen weigh? So, so that you can see what some of those prices were um, or could be. Um, and so that's, that's a little bit of, a, of the background. Um, you know, it's really it's really your your decision and your call on again what you want to charge for, and um, what you don't want in the bulky waste, and what you um, what your prices, what you feel are fair prices. I mean, we all know, and this is always a concern. Like, where is that tipping point, right? Between does the town need to cover 100% of their costs, or do you you know do you, do you cover 100% and then have people say, there's no way I'm not paying $45 for a TV, um, and you know, whatever. They take it somewhere else or they leave it in the house for a million years. Or they dump it on the or side they dump of the road. It on the side of the road. Um, or, you know, do you, where, where is that point where you say, okay, well, well this is a fair, like, this is a reasonable price and it covers a portion of our, it cover, it's covering some of our expense. So it's not free anymore, um, but, you know, to charge 100%. Um, just to give you a uh, some some numbers on the expense side. So th these folks are really great at doing mostly tandem hauls um, for like bulky waste and recycling or bulky waste and trash if they can. So that price per haul is two hundred it's about two hundred and ten dollars. The tip fee July first went to one hundred and twenty dollars a ton. So this is like the most we've ever paid. Um, it's more than trash. Trash is one hundred and one dollars a ton. Um, and so. Because, because the container is not getting like the highway department doesn't swish it because there's only like two two tons in there, two and a half tons. Um, so you're paying so you're paying about six hundred, let's just say six hundred dollars per bulky waste spill off. I don't know what your rev you know we we could probably dig in and see what kind of revenue because you're charging for some things now, right? It used like, to be just like, mattresses which we don't even take anymore, so I don't think there's much that goes in there that gets charged for. No. Nothing right now. Okay. So, so you're basically eating, and I, you know better than I do, but it's at least once a month, sometimes twice, 
at least twice a month, maybe the ball peak? four times it's going. Yeah, on? it's getting pulled almost every week now. The oh, every week. The bag program has gone to every other week, which used to be every week. Okay. So what we did was switch dumpsters. Okay. It used to be two and one, now it's one and two. So, you know, <clears throat> six hundred, twenty-four hundred dollars a month. Yeah, and for reference, I brought up yeah. that old PowerPoint from the numbers from fiscal year twenty-two. Um, Conway had 1,030 permits at the time and 90, 91 tons of bulky, so that's 177 pounds per user. Deerfield had 1,285 permits, only 66 total tons, so 103 pounds per user. So Conway had, what, 74 pounds per user more? Yeah. yeah. So, so, you know, we know. I mean, anything people people will find. I always say, you know, with trash, like the, my book title is going to be the path of least resistance because people will figure out like why should they pay? Why should they pay in another town if they can bring it here for free? Right? Like that's not rocket science. That's what most people are concerned about is how can I save money? Um, so, you know, there's definitely yeah. So you're paying, it. And, and I should have brought the latest bill because I just sent the bills out last week. Um, but yeah, you can estimate probably 2,000 to 2,400 a month for that bulky waste dumpster. So, hey, that's my that's my kind of intro. I know you have some. You have a so if it's thing. crushed down, it doesn't doesn't have to be removed as much. But it it's not by weight. It's just by no. Dumpster. It is by weight. So, but you would save on the hauling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So you'd so. save, you know, the haul is about two hundred. It's two hundred eight dollars and fifty cents. So, so it's about two hundred ten. So you'd save, you know, four hundred, at least four hundred dollars a month. Um, <coughs> you went to twice. It's a lot. Yeah. Well, but it's. I mean, it's like still five thousand dollars a year, which is not insignificant if we right. spend that on other things that we could, sure. you know, ameliorate the so situation. So our August transfer station. invoice was one thousand one hundred forty-seven dollars and sixty-six cents. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it, I don't think it went out for maybe it, maybe it, maybe they didn't. So sometimes waste management, much to my displeasure, especially towards the end of the month, they they will pick up a box but bring it to the yard and not tip it. So you may have had four hauls mm -hmm. in August, but we only got bills for three because there's still a container. There was a container in September sitting in their yard. No, we're not saying it gets picked up Wednesday. Wednesday, it may get picked up, dropped off on Wednesday may not get picked up to that file on Friday. So it's almost a week and a half. Right. Okay. But I thought you said four a month. Four a month. Yeah, it's, it's, it's averaging, it's averaging four, once a week. Four, four, months, four, months, four months, even yeah. though it's, it'll come in on a Wednesday and gets pulled yeah. by the end of the week. But I'm just based on the $1,100 bill, I'm guessing that's probably three times, three weeks, three well, weeks. Well, that, that would indicate why, because yeah. they, they, they sit. Yeah, right. Now, I have so a question so. about that now. Sure. Are they weighing them as they come in before they make them sit, or are they parking them out in the rain and then weighing them with an extra 300 pounds of water on them? Yeah. Uh, I can Pro see them doing that. Pro probably the latter. Yeah, yeah okay. I think they probably just sit in their yard. Just tell them once they come so. in the yard, they need to be weighed. They can do whatever they want yeah. after that. They need to yeah. weigh when they come in. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, because we have a lot of cardboard thrown in there, cat litter boxes, all that sheet rock, sheet rock, she rock, styrofoam. The winter's coming. A lot of stuff that soaks water. Yeah. Yeah. Whole street, couches, yeah, chairs. Snow's coming. So, yeah. Yep, no, for sure. So the way you guys see it is we solved <coughs> one problem and exasperated another. Yeah. Yeah. Until we got loads when you of stuff up. that who knows? Yeah. Yeah. There's no, no, we don't know where it comes from. It's yeah. out of hand. I mean, the kind of goal that I was going towards, and I, I know you weren't here when I did the presentation last, is. I mean, every, anybody speak up, but I, I don't think that we should, taxpayer dollars should be used to pay for the trash. For the, for the payroll, sure. For upgrades, sure. But I wanted to try to find a way where we could be like absolvent with the, with the amount of money that comes in to pay for all the actual dumping of the trash. Or at least no. close. A lot, of, close to a lot it, of yeah. stuff that should be going in the, in the trash compactor and stuff in the bulky. Because yeah. they don't want to break it down and put it in the trash bag. Right. That way they have to pay for it. Right. With the sticker. Right. So they throw yeah. it in the bulky even though it's not supposed to be in the bulky. So the only way to solve that is to have the price per per item bulky. I mean, how but much does it take to crush true, a cat in the box? The people who have a sticker also have, I mean, you have like the permit to like drive yeah. onto the transfer station and dump whatever you want in the bulky bin. 
those people also have like the stickers then that they could pack up. This is why everybody's saying they got plenty of stickers left over. Yeah. Because, because it's some only people are not okay. They don't want to break things down and crush them to fit them into bags, so they're just tossing. Awesome. Yeah, they don't want. They don't want to have to deal with like breaking up a, a cat litter box. So do you think that it, it, is, is there a correlate? Like, I, I feel Solar like our, boxes, beer boxes. Right. It's yeah. Powerful. But our so but like our um. I mean, so just like 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 the trash that gets hauled away, the people bag that they put in the compactor. My understanding is those prices have gone down for us. Correct. Yes. The, well, the hauls. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's what that's what this chart. That's right. what the, the color chart is. The yeah. trash bag. But do you feel like conversely now we're paying more? Yes. For yeah. Because we're okay. Yes. Because we're okay. All right. Because instead yeah. of throwing it in the, in the trash. Because it's just easier for people to just like dump it in the bulky bin. I mean, right. soda boxes, beer cases, all that stuff cannot go in. in Recycling. But people could put it, yeah. So, so instead of them throwing it in a in trash bag, they throw it in the bulk. It's or the barrel true. Or they, or they leave, or we, frustrated. you know, we have a bag, you know, barrels sitting by the each dumpster. Right, so, so they're just like stuffing. So they'll stuff them in yeah. there. So we have to come up with bags, and then we have to throw them bags away. I mean, it's hard to to to. You don't want to, you know. I can imagine some older people have trouble breaking stuff down, or yeah, it's hard to. You want to um, hold accountable the people who are just too lazy to do it yeah. versus the people who really aren't able to do it. The elderly is not the you know, And I don't yeah. know yeah. how to do that. It's the same with the bulky. Like, if you're a contractor and you're dumping more than your share in the bulky, you should have to own more of your share. Well, I feel like if you're a contractor, you shouldn't be dumping anything. Yeah, you should be well, having your own, you own, have, you have, you have, own card, yeah. yeah. I saw a guy when I was there. It's true. They still this do. weekend had, had big sheets of styrofoam that was only like this thick. That should have been broken down and put into bags and put into the garbage, but yeah. he was stuffing these big sheets of styrofoam into bulky. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean... Well, styrofoam is the ongoing... The ongoing issue. Yeah. 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 So, and, you know, I apologize. I wouldn't... It, I, would have been helpful for me to go back and do this. I've been doing this chart over the course of the last year, but it would have been helpful for me to do a bulky waste comparison, and I can, I can certainly do that, you know, tomorrow. Or I have time. a question for you though, or maybe some, if you could give us some advice. What's crazy is our numbers that at least on the um, pay as you throw on the regular trash are almost exactly what we thought they would be based on other towns. We can solve some of the issue with the bulky waste by doing price per item, but what about what we're talking about here, the loose? Because we don't have a, a scale up there. Right. Yeah, um, sometimes just do a minimum. So it's a minimum of five bucks or a minimum, you know. To dump anything in the bulky bin. Yes. Yeah, or minimum 10 bucks. I mean, styrofoam is bulky, but it doesn't weigh anything, right? So right. like that stuff takes up a lot of Air space and it's not being I mean, I think down, even a minimum five dollars would be a somewhat of a yeah. Term. In order to slow, the, you know, to speed this process up, I should say, we need to just set a some kind of price for the bulk to be compared to other towns that you said earlier. They're coming here to dump it because it's free. Where they're charging something, we start charging something. We still start thinking about it, right? And they'll try to come up with ways to get around it eventually. But in the meantime, we can start hitting them with something to offset. Yeah. And it, it try to take that w at least one pole a month out of that four away, right. save two hundred dollars, right. and then take in another two hundred, and then we pay right. for another pole. So right. I mean, but and, and Ronnie's going to go up and crush him, or which will hold more. But but then you guys are also dealing with a lot more cash transactions. Yeah, I know. Well, I'd, I'd love to put a debit machine up there because everyone's yeah. got a card. Yeah, let's yeah. 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 like, put a debit machine. That's a long right term. Through, right like, the treasurer yeah. to deal with the damn thing. Record yeah. it. Have a nice day. Ash Ashfield just did that. They put a. Uh, POS point of sale machine, and you know there are fees like you folks probably know. Right, I mean, yeah. there, are, there are fees associated with it, but mm -hmm. and is is, is just it the best just that we don't have like internet? Yeah, there? internet. Well, there's no internet, yeah, but there so. is AT and T yeah. Yeah. cell service, so mm -hmm. there's still a possibility of being able to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, I mean, not jumping to the trash tonnage, but you know the number so far if you. 67 tons have disappeared in 11 months, and you know when I came here, I said I was 90% certain or 99% certain that that was not Conway tonnage, right? That's like what's been coming in yeah. um, because there was no you're the, you were the only ones that weren't charging. So I think, as they're saying, it's going to be a similar situation with the bulky. 
So whether it's a $5 or $10 minimum charge, you're going to discourage people from giving their bulky waste to their friends and family to bring here, and they're going to have to start paying for it in Conway or, or Waitley or coming to our collection. Perhaps it's more work for summer. Adam, but they can go down and prepay down there and come up with a thing to leave the thing. And yeah. They paid a $5, $10 thing, they give us the card, they throw the stuff yeah. in and have a nice day. So Northfield, I mean, there are different different ways to do it. Northfield doesn't handle any cash, but you have to pay either on the town website or, you know, but, but they don't have, it's hard because they don't have bulky waste, but for like electronics or appliances. Um, bulky waste is, is really hard and these folks know because somebody comes in with, you know, a piece of a table and it's like, well, how much does this chart cost? And so that's why I recommend instead of having, I mean, I think there's common things like chairs and dresser, dressers and you know, whatever, um, uh, toilets and sinks, but, you know, to have a minimum that is not going to pay for, you know, a pickup truck full of bricks, but just something that says, okay. Well, I also don't want it dumped on the side of the road. You know, yeah, I don't want it dumped in the field. <laughs> I don't want it dumped yeah, on Conway that's Station that's Road. That's always I don't, the response. Though. I don't yeah. want it dumped out there. Yeah. Right. Somebody's doing that again with roofing machines. Yeah, I mean, that's always the response, and... Well, that's a pretty real response. I mean... Well, I mean I, you see when everything. you hike all over the place. Yeah. I found oil dumped in the woods. I found Trash all sorts of things. Of totally. Yeah. So... Yeah. But I, I mean, Piles like, we didn't... Mm -hmm. There wasn't, like, a rash of, like, abandoned mattresses yeah. when suddenly we started charging for mattresses. Like, that right. was the fear. And, yeah. Yeah, you know, there are no more mattresses than we ever saw before. I, I so. think our main problem or issue is that it's just not, it's not ideal setup up there. No. You yeah, know, what, you know. what, is there any possibility of getting a scale? Is that just cost prohibitive? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and the pro, yeah, I mean, like, it's, you saw in, like, Buckland, everything yeah. was right there. The, the, the attendant could see everything yeah. right, right there. We don't have the same setup there. So if the attendants are helping somebody either with the regular or with recycling, right. who knows who's there. going and dumping stuff in the right. bulky. Right. So that's just, uh, the setup is not ideal. Right. So. It's terrible. Yeah. I mean, I think if you start with a minimum fee, you're gonna deter some. Yeah. So what if, in order to dump anything in the bulky bin, you had to buy Buy a bulky sticker for it five, 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 sticker, five and it, 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 and, you know. Right, and you could buy like, you know, 25 at a time or how, I mean, I don't know how many, I like, I don't use the bulky bin very often, maybe once or twice a year, but you know, and, we have I mean, but would that be like too much work we have for you guys? Coming two, three times a week to use that bulky Well, right, but yeah, but, 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 if, but if they had to pay for it, I mean, like, would that be an additional burden on you all to make well, sure that already, people... Well, if they had already prepared or something, we're just collecting something and, and watching them put it on, that's fine, but if we're going to sit there and weigh it and, and do that. No, 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 no. Yeah, right, yeah, but I... You have to come up with some program for them to prepay it. Right, so that, but like, up. but just to make sure that, like, is that too much work for you all to cordon off the bulky bin and, like, nothing goes in here unless you I don't you think it would be any more or less work than what we're doing already. So our pass or whatever. we got to watch it either way. We should get that thing out of there and put it somewhere else where you can keep an eye on it. You turn your back to throwing stuff in there. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. And it's not just a, a, a cat box. Time. They're throwing the humidifiers in there. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times they're not open. That's why you got to stress the cameras to Yeah. Maybe not. You get 10, 10 pallets in there and you just wasted that whole dumpster. Yeah. And they're doing that. You've seen them, the pallets. Oh, yeah. Easily bustable. Right. But they don't want to bother. Right. But if. If someone had to, you know, have a bulky permit in order to put anything in there, do you have enough manpower to, like, basically, you know, police the, the bulky bin and make sure that people don't put, you know, it's only two tablets in there when you... Well, it would be a work in progress. We'd have to figure out something as, as, as yeah. it becomes available and see what happens. Yeah. Like, I mean, we have to monitor it anyways. I mean, there's, we know the people that pull in behind it. You know, I see the guys pull behind it, and that's stuff put up over the back, and then they drive off like... The hell was that? You, know, yeah. you go up and look, it's a humidifier or something, or bags yeah. of stuff. Yeah, the guy throw, he broke up his construction stuff, put it in bags, and then threw it in the bulky. I said, well, why don't you put stickers on it? But then you have a bag you can pull them out and right. put them on there. Right. Took the time to do it. Yeah. So, so there are different, I mean, you brought up a good point. There, there are different scenarios, and, I'm, and we can kind of go back and come up with some different models. One is, you know, a straight fee, so you have a price list that just says the toilet is 10 bucks and the whatever dresser is five bucks. And, um, and, then, a, and then a minimum fee for like everything weird, like 
you know, a chair or something. Um, or you could come up with something that so they're not handling as much cash where it's similar, but it, then it puts the burden on your administrative staff where people have to come in and buy a sticker. And that's what happens in Northfield. They get a receipt emailed to them that shows that they paid for it. So they just show the receipt. So they could pay online. So they, they pay online, in. right. They can go into town they hall. They get a receipt. Or they can pay online, they get a receipt, and then um, they can bring their you know, appliance up to the transfer store, their TV up to the transfer station. On Saturday and Sunday? Yeah, that's the problem. There are, Oh yeah, no. I mean, you have to. Right, they would have to prepay. Well, I think that's the idea too. It's just it's to restrict bulky waste. To but yeah, you're gonna. That shouldn't be all three days of the week, right? I mean, do other towns do that? Do they restrict? No, but it's a great idea. That is a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, but if it, you close it on a weekend, I mean, how many people are working Monday through Friday? But we can close it on a Sunday. Right. You have it open two days a week, and right. you can't dump anything in there without a. A bulky sticker, right. and then maybe you realize that some or a people, receipt. right? Or you know, the guys are going to have to tarp it then, though, because otherwise people are going to still they be just throw it over the top. That's yeah. how we do. Well, we'll tarp it. They up don't care. Yeah. We could. I could ask yeah. Jan to see if, because the way it works right now, you can purchase your um, vehicle decals online and you get a receipt. I can see how much we could set up where it could be prepaid through the UNPAY system, and then they'd have the receipt, and they just take it to and hand it to the attendants. Yeah, I can yeah. see if that's possible. I mean, I think, uh, like, either way, whatever, like, if we do put some something in place, like, if that's, but, like, people are going to be upset, obviously. So I think right. there seems like there's a, a, lot, a, way that a lot of change like, in a short time. I right, but, but I'm saying, but I, but I, and I don't want that all to fall on you, so I feel like if we do some kind of, like, a major shift like this, we should... You know, like as do some education, but uh, but like I mean, I'm willing to go up there and you know, like we'll just be an extra set of hands. So if people are giving you a hard time, we can be like, hey, this is like. Remember, you if know. you do it through Unipay, every one of those transactions is getting hit with a two dollar and fifty cent fee. Right. So for yeah. them to pay for five, five dollar right, bulky yeah. sticker yeah. and then be charged two fifty, that's, yeah. that's going to cause a problem. Right. So twenty. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, about, what, I mean, what, what about just using the stickers we already have, right? So, how much are those stickers worth? Five dollars? Would it be three stickers worth? Five. 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 So five, five stickers. Let's, you know, use what we already have. So you want us to collect the stickers instead of money? No, I'm saying it's a, it's a suggestion. Do you do you guys think that might work? And then that way, once they run out of stickers, they still have to go back and buy more. But I mean, we're I'm saying we're going to get us some stickers, right? I mean, it would, right. yeah, that, that would be relying upon somebody standing there and being like, okay, I have your five stickers, and like, you know, like making sure that no yeah. one's tossing stuff in as they drive. Like by. you have to talk to an attendant before you dump anything in bulky waste. Yeah. Right. If it's loose, just whatever well, random you're stuff. Have to park here's and five stickers. The bulky waste. It says that it signs well, up there. They, they, they still do it anyway. Yeah. 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 There's always going to be outliers. Right, but I, I'm just thinking like instead of us using a, a new, system. A new yeah. system, let's just use the stickers we already have. Would it work for you all if somebody came in with it's a five dollar bureau and they put five stickers so that you could see it was five stickers on the bureau itself and then just break it up? That's what they're saying. That's we should break it up. Yeah, we want to break it up. Much can, yeah. yeah, but I think realistically. People are not going to be breaking up their bureaus. I don't think that most people have, have the strength or capability. Or yeah, yeah. yeah but rather than hand, <laughs> I'm, I'm like rather than handing first. you five I stickers, would. I don't know which would be easier for you all to just have them pre-stuck or just have them handed to you. Well, if they hand them to you, then you can give them back to the office so when they come to buy them, oh, they that's a year and you have an excess stock. I got people to come up and get us their packs. I got these extra for two of them. You laugh, but that's a good idea. It is a good idea. It seems kind of, I don't know. It's recycling. Put that down on the town clerk's agenda, will you? I don't put that on the town attorney's I'm in the wrong building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, those are all good ideas, and I think, you know, I'm willing to work with Chris yeah. and Veronique and just and I can I can put something out in the mass recycle list yeah, and I ask I can ask what other people in the yeah. state not just in Western Mass but we can just put something on the that'd state be helpful especially for towns that don't have scale yeah. yeah you know how they do it or Wi-Fi 
or yeah. <laughs> right. But I think maybe we should really I like the sticker we really idea. consider like I mean because the camera issue too. I mean like I think we really need to figure out a way yeah, to get reliable Wi Fi. It, it would be great. There. Yeah. I just don't know how expensive that'll be. Well let's find uh, out. I know how much. <laughs> yes, Chris knows. Yes. It'll be seven hundred for the camera itself to for one. Uh -huh. And then you have to pay for the service, so that's probably thirty bucks a month. Right, but I mean, in terms of doing like, because we were also talking potentially about um, being able to do a card swipe up there. Oh, well, yeah. that would be different. Thing, but just as long as yeah. we had like reliable internet up there, so that yeah. we had cameras. Right. I mean, um, I like the sticker idea, but we should just write up some a couple of options. Mm -hmm. and, well, no, I just no, want to, no, I mean, no, whatever, no, whatever no, we no, do, no. I think has to make sense to all of you who are there. Totally. Like, would it, it work to extend that to electronics, say? I just, I don't, I'm just asking to people. Like well, they can still write uh, 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 Too many stickers yeah. at that point. Yeah, 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 you know, like it can be 20 stickers on one TV and then they're yeah. not going to know which is which and they'd have to check with us anyways on the budget yeah. size. Yeah. It's an ongoing. So what about electronics recycling? companies do is there any kind of relationship that i mean because i know like lap like the copper that like the minerals that are in there i mean I have, I have a lot of stuff that i would love to get rid of but i don't want to throw it in the bulky bin you know so i just have like stacks of stuff that i just yeah you know and there's like electronic recycling programs places well so the company we use is an electronics recycler from Mattech, and they're in Mansfield. um they're in Massachusetts, and so we they will take absolutely anything. But because the price, because because they're doing the process the way they're doing it, the you know they're they're asked, they have a price that goes along with that, which is 33, 37 cents a pound. So what we've trained these folks on, I mean, we tell towns is really what's banned from the trash are screens. So any screen has to go into the uh, electronic shed. Um, so that includes like a scanner or a printer that has a, has a glass top or you know laptops, um, flat screens, monitors, um, glass TVs, things like um, inkjet printers. You can pay. You can you can put those in the electronics, but we tell we put them in the bulky waste because there's really not a lot in there. There's a there's a small circuit board, but it's mostly plastic. Mm -hmm. um, so depending on what you have, like mice, keyboards, bulky waste, we just we just throw them out. But even that kind of stuff would I mean people could also just put it in a contractor bag and put it in yeah. a regular right. compactor as well. Right. But we're really because it's seven hundred dollars a a, a a ton, we're we're really sending them what we have to send them and what's you know, like mm -hmm. the, the material that's worth paying. Not even worth paying. I mean it's, I wouldn't pay seven hundred dollars is just beyond me, but that's that's what their charges. So um, yeah. So I don't know I don't know what you're holding on to, but you know, things that are like plastic can we also check, or would you also check with other towns on scene on how they do the payment? Because I, mean, I don't know if towns can have their own PayPal or Venmo where it doesn't cost fee, you know, to set that up. Um, just curious on how other towns do it. Yeah, it's true, but you also have to think of the most challenged in your town. You know, an elder, uh, you know, you, you uh, somebody with a disability that can't, like you have to, Factor their ability, right. yes, yeah. to, right. to navigate these systems too. Before we, right. you know, it's, navigating stickers was already a challenge enough yeah, for some true. people. So, true. you know, I just think we have to keep that in mind. I don't think we have to yeah. stop, but I think we have to, you know, not everybody is as functional. We're coming as up on our some one, of us here. We're coming yeah. up on the one year anniversary <laughs> of our not sticker transfer, myself, so it's yeah. gone relatively smooth except yeah. for that. Five percent of people that are still digging their heels in, but it's not about yeah. right. that. It's gone pretty smoothly. It has. I'm just also a little concerned about too many changes too fast. Although this is yeah. the second year we've done stickers, so maybe this is the time we start phasing in. I do think we have to do something about bulky. Yeah, I mean, we knew bulky with that, so that was our yeah, goal was to was. like do the stickers first, right, and, right. and then yeah. tackle bulky. But I think we need to write up baby some steps. The, yeah. the options, yeah. you know, like look into payment plans, look into. Right. I mean, and I can, um, I can, you know, survey towns and... I mean, we definitely need to get there. Yeah. I'm not saying we don't need to get there, but I think we need to 
Yeah. 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 You know, love the sticker it. idea and then passing them back in. We can use them again. I mean, I'm like, hey, oh, here's your ticket. Yeah, with all trash discussions, this is going to be probably ongoing. We're definitely not ready yeah. for a vote. Yeah. So, right. Um, so, so just because I know we can talk about trash all night. Um, just to go over the reason what so I I do this for towns I switch to a pay as you throw system is I I spend a year I look at I look at your previous tonnage you know month to month so I've been putting this together and um, sending it to Veronique every month when I get the bills so you know you you literally dropped sixty seven tons um, just the tip fee savings is almost seven thousand uh, dollars and then I added the hauling cost column which is kind of right in the middle of this um, table because the, the tr trash compactor was going out weekly, but with the reduction in trash, what I was seeing is your tonnage numbers were really low. I mean, that, that compactor can hold. There was, there was a haul of 15 tons, and it, it had been going out. It was getting to like four tons or you know five tons because it was on automatic. So switching to, you can see starting in June, um, so it had been five, five or four, depending on how many weeks in the month. You know, every week it went out. Um, now it's going out two to three times a month, and so you're saving a considerable amount of money on hauls. And that, that's packed. I mean, you guys are doing a great job. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's a full box. You know, 12 tons, um, 13 tons. I think there was one recently with nine tons, but that's still a lot better than the five that it had been going out. So. So you're, you know, that will eventually add up this fiscal year um, to, you know, year over year savings as well. Um, yeah, six, seven hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars to four hundred dollars. It's like half because it's half. You're doing half the hauls. So, um, and those for those folks who are listening or here, um, the reduction, the trash reduction percentage-wise is is about twenty-two percent, and I think we had said that in the beginning that towns do see an average of 20 to 25 percent so um, yeah so good job everyone I mean that's pretty good amazing job, guys yeah you know for, for everybody who's been on the receiving end like the attendants and the, and the homeowners who have either you know recycled more or put their stuff in the bogey waste but yeah you know, it's not going in the trash compact. next tackle the next thing yeah so so that's been great awesome yeah, it is. It's really, you know, it's it's hard to, as you all know, I mean, we had public public meetings. It's hard to make the switch, but then when people start seeing it, it's like, wow, that's a lot of trash you pay. The town taxes were paying for a lot of trash that mm -hmm. you know didn't have to um, didn't have to be paid for. So it's yeah. great. Well, the attendants had to implement it, so yeah, good job. But, yeah, they for. right. They were on the receiving end. And Adam. Sure. Yeah. And Adam. Selling, selling tickets on Saturday. Yes. So, okay. so <laughs> that's that's it for me. I'll um, I'll spend some time uh, and, and get on other agenda, but I'll spend some time kind of surveying um, <coughs> other communities and in uh, the region and the state, and then you know come back, look at your bulky waste year to year, so you can see really what it's been like. Um, Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Okay, you're so welcome. I know if we don't if we don't stop really trash, you just there's there's so much to say. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much. All right, take care, everybody. Right, Thanks. Thanks, Jim. Okay. Tim, do you want to be the voice box? Uh, yeah, I'll just why don't I just bullet point before you get them out there since you've got them written down there, we can discuss it off meeting here to save time. But, uh, okay, we covered the bulky. Styrofoam was in that. Uh, Troy brought up the fact that winter's coming. The rear parking lot is unsafe for the uh, lighting situation. That when it gets darker, and there's no lights back there whatsoever. It's icy, slippery. We need to get like a pole back there with some electricity. Out by the sheds. Well, by the like like the back of the parking lot went out over there. It's yeah. over the bulky stuff because that last two three hours is pitch black. Um, I did just so you know. I did speak with Peter Martin about this like three or four months ago. I need to follow up with him because I thought he was. Planning to take care of that for us. Which one's Peter Martin? Is it the older one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The one that said last year that that's too big of a job, you can't do it? No, that's yes. another guy. Uh, yeah, the, the Peter's, the, uh, Peter's a full time electrician, right? No, he's retired. 
Oh, he's retired, but he told me he was going to work on it. So I'll he double told check. Us, he told us that it was too, just too big of a job. Is that the one who took over at Elmer? Uh huh. Is that the one who took over at Elmer? He's the one that did the, the two outlet boxes in the shed. Okay, so we got to connect with him again. Right, so I'll double check and yeah, see because, I mean, we are, if he told or, you that, he didn't tell me that. Several electricians. Yeah, the part, yeah, or, yeah. Get, or get another electrician to do the work. Yeah. All right, and just on top of what the yep. electricity is, the, the parking lot, the holes, I guess we're going to cover that in the spring, you said. Yes. Ron's going to yeah. take care of that. Uh, the catwalk, uh, we got to do something soon. It's, it's actually... It's buckling. It's, 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 it's a hazard. Bones. I mean, somebody's going to get hurt. I'll talk I'm telling you right now, it should be yeah. closed. I'll talk to uh, uh, French again. Okay. Um, I, I almost felt the band step came up, and I was walking up there. Yeah. I wouldn't see for that much, but someone else would. So that was the idea, is to have a Wesco go up and measure and fabricate one for us, um, a, a steel one. Um, so we don't yeah. have this issue again. Right, but it's bad. Right, it's so. Making you aware that somebody's going to get hurt. Sure, i got to get with Russ. Yeah. Uh, you're going to cover the cameras, something you're going to do about that? Yeah, they're, they're very similar cameras, except it's not... Um, it's not like a, a photo camera, it's video, Yeah. but it's, it has to connect to the AT&T service up there. So um, I have one that I'm looking into. Um, I think we'll just probably purchase, try it out, and if it doesn't work, send it back, but we can at least try it out. Uh, well, hit jam with this one. The, the main gate, the, the, the break and lock to get in, waste management. I mean, they're not only breaking, they're banging and in they're banging the gate. The gates are all changing. damage up there. there. We should have to rank the gate up, but so we should probably run that by jam. Uh, the shed, the repairs, ongoing upgrades. That's the table of the lot. Uh, the shed, the, the, yeah, the just small small. sit in with the No, no, the, oh, the, the attendance shed, 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 which was yeah. originally going to get done, I thought, through Randy, but now he's retired. Yeah. So we have to figure something else out. Get it fixed. Uh, then the other questions like I'll, I'll run this by Jan later, but uh, uh, Freddie wants to get a jump back up. There was someone breakdown. I needed a jump the other day, and if they'd been sitting in the main spot, we'd be screwed for the next two hours until the oh, AAA shit. got there. Jan, the, the mattress is from the couch. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll send her an email because there's a bunch of other stuff they should have. I didn't want to do it here. Um, EpiPen B season's over. We'd like to get EpiPens next year for B season. That's the problem. Uh, we're getting a CD, DVD box from the book people to take donations there to recycle those. Uh, we wanted to go over it well. When we have problems with an authority up there, we have a log book to take down incidents. That's about all we're doing right now. And is that's there anything else in the transmission? Yeah, missing one thing. You got the bathroom. Fluid. What? Yeah. Bathroom. Bathroom. What bathroom? What bathroom? <laughs> well, there's a porta potty there, right? But what happens in the winter? I, the porta potty, you, you know, when you're sitting there all dressed in, in winter gear, you can't use that thing. I mean, it's, it's okay. I tell everyone to go home and use their own bathrooms because uh, I like to wash my hands when I'm done yeah. instead of washing in the snow bank. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way to get running water or. No, I know that. There, so yeah. You have a sun a little bit bigger that, you know, too. you can at least kind of maneuver in there. So do, are we renting that? Or yeah, we pay for it monthly. Mm. Yep. The United State Services. Is it? Is but it I don't know that they make bigger ones that are actually portable like that. Don't they make any for they handicap? Well, they, they make like one as handicap. The one that's yeah. the pot, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. I put them on two three handicap. Handicap. But I'm, I mean, it's just you can't, you know, you get in there, you've got long johns, you've got, you know, two pairs of hands, sweatshirts, coats. Yeah, so all well, this, you have to have a handicap version. Yeah. Even if you got to just, you know, do. do you you know. could strip in the parking lot down yeah. to your long johns and then go in. But. Town residents, town residents use that bathroom. Yeah, we use that bathroom. All in favor of yeah. Troy's house in the bathroom, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do a bath. What's they do? Ew. Well, the one at the pond is large. It's very large. It is. There's like five children at yeah, one yeah. time, so. But it's a handicap size. Yeah, okay. so okay. okay. that's kind of what we should And you got all the critters because yeah, the, the floor is nothing but holes. Mm. So you got well. trying to get warm. Pelagons. Well, the floor is not insulated. We got all that signing people drop off. Yeah. Uh, yeah, those are the any uh, big topics I missed on those. The, the little things, all the super jam, the transmission. And all yeah, stuff. definitely. Yeah, the mattresses, futons. The, the futons, and yeah. it's, it's just, um, That's a jam. it would be nice to have something saying that if you're dropping big stuff off, the, the attendants need to be notified. I mean, 
like he's saying, they, they park behind and, and when they leave, when we walk up there, we got chemicals sitting there and yeah. pesticides and, and oil and paint. And then we, we've got the shed, it's filling up. It's like, where'd you guys take this? Why did you take it? I get the phone call. What the hell are you doing up there? <laughs> Could there be some Turning my back for a second. To reposition For this. us to, and, and you know, I'm sure he'll tell me if the idea doesn't work, but when people come in, to go through everything that's in their car and just, I, I just mean to eyeball yeah, I know, I know what you're saying, though. but yeah, it's, you, it's Just to nice. kind of head that up, I mean, I know it's a lot of work, because I... But I the way some of these people pack them cars, you can't even see, you can't even see them. There's too many there is people only two of you. Too many people in there. I mean, that's why we wanted to try to go one lane, so right. we could, and we still have people that, that call us Gestapo and, and, you know, Hitler know. and, and if you try to explain it to them, you're being mean to them. Uh, why are you always singling me out? Uh, and it's like, you know, we're trying to educate. We're not singling you out, but wow, you did that to me last week. Or you put the same stuff in last week. <laughs> Education is not working with you. Maybe it's sledgehammer. <laughs> but, you know, you, you've been there. You know what they're like. I, I, absolutely. I'm wondering if, because I do have the how do you load your car and the list of items in the transfer station, pretty much done. But you that mean someone's right. going to read yeah, the sign. Yeah, we, we've got, we've well, got I mean, a number. What I was going to say is you could use that as an introduction to, hi, this is how we'd like you to load your car. The like for passive us, aggressive <laughs> pamphlet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> we, we've got residents to take 45 minutes to an hour to, to empty their car. Well, they yeah. park it's with their hazards right yeah. in the middle so of the parking lot. Loop. They go around once, then they go around again. <laughs> well, so again, I mean, like, would it be helpful maybe just occasionally to have, like, or be on a regular basis for, you know, at some point to have someone from the select board there, you know, on particularly busy, I don't know if it's worse on the weekend, so hit or miss. but just to have, you know, someone there so that you're not the only ones. You know, when people are. Yeah, you know. I think we should really figure out how to like tarp or what. I know if even if you have a tarp, to throw stuff on it. But just Sunday, just cut Sunday for. Yeah, but they, they'll put it behind the dumpsters. Yeah. yeah. They'll put it behind the book box. Right. right. They'll put it behind the paint shed. Just next to it. Yeah. And then what do you tell people who on the only day they can come up is Sunday? Come up on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, if some people work on Saturday. No, I, I, I understand. Some people are working. <laughs> But it, it seems like one of the ongoing issues is compliance, and if there's a way, and, and people feeling like they're single, you know, like like you're being mean if they're not complying with it. So if there's any way that the select board can help by like, you know, being there to like, you know, enforce the rules, you know. Because human nature is like, lazy. Well, but yes, yeah, so, uh, but I'm just saying like, <coughs> if that's like, if, she's if that's, saying, if like, that's take the way that's, the discussion if, if that's helpful, I, I understand what you're saying, to, but you know, I don't see it going to work either way. Whether but it, it won't be, be you, it'll be them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and I mean, they're going to sit like, there and yes, Especially yes. in the interim as we're, you know, trying to develop new policies and everything, just so that it's like, you all are not always taking the brunt of like what goes on in the transfer station, because I mean, you're just enforcing the rules that we made. Maybe it should be like soccer, you, once you get a yellow card. <laughs> we, should, we, try, we try to tell people, you know, to, to put stuff oh, in the back of the dumpster, and they sit there and say yes. And then we turn around and, and we watch, and they put it right at the entrance. Big stuff, right at the entrance. So we just said something to you. Oh, oh I, I, I can't lift that. Why didn't you I say mean, like, something to us? I do think people who are repeatedly not making an effort should be brought to, whether it's our attention or yeah. somebody's attention, that, you know, to have a conversation. Like, this is not, this is... You guys are doing your jobs. Um, right. You don't deserve. I mean, no one should be giving you all a hard jobs. time for doing your jobs. And if they are, then one of us. Right. Like, if that we, should if, be if your that's handout. For is our email addresses. <laughs> right. Seriously, like just <laughs> hey, like, here's, my here's the select board. Here's Veronique. You know. Yeah. Hey, you know we tell them. Yeah. Well, it's the. Right. We tell them our boss is Veronique. If you have yeah. a problem, go and see her. Right. I mean, that's what you should be doing. Yeah. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah. And, but they don't want to go down and get in, into it with her because they may lose. Right. Probably. <laughs> with us, they can just say, wow, you know, you're just singling me out. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like Veronique needs to be a 
the transfer station. <laughs> it's a di well, it's a different environment. Sitting in the town administrator's office right, yeah. and having a conversation compared to standing in the middle of oh, a transfer totally. station. All holding, oh, yeah, oh. holding people up and all that. Yes. Yes. I had this little bag of trash, and you should have seen him. He just was so mean to me. He wouldn't, he wouldn't throw yeah. it in there for me. Well, we could do no, like that's the not what we talked to you about. We could do like the Conway Inn and have a shame wall. <laughs> We don't have a wall big enough. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, all I was saying was if, if it's, right I, all right. I feel like enough if it's, enough. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. move it off. Track, pretty much. Uh, yes. Do you guys have anything else? No. Otherwise, That's thank you so much for coming in. We need a hit list of attacking cool. these things. Okay. Appreciate it. So. Um, Are we thank getting a clothing allowance this year? You have one every oh. year. Yeah, we do. Yes. So we can order. Jack and Artie are double You need to run it by me before you do. All right. Hey, Jeff. At the outlet store? You look good. Yeah. You need to let me know because I have to get permission for you to go up. So just let me know what you need and I'll let him know. Well, basically, everybody's jacket is trash. It's disgusting. So people just need to let me know. Thank you. They have black and blue and just black with. No, really. They have the black and the blue. I know. And the black with the, the, the more stripes. Up on. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody. So, um, Don. Yes, we're going to jump in. Here. Yes. Yeah. We're going to, uh, next meeting, our item on the new business agenda is discussion and vote on hiring Maxwell Gain. Tell me. Ganyan. Ganyan. It's not Gagan. Ganyan. Ganyan for traffic control officer. Welcome, Max. Thank you. <laughs> Would you like to work at the transfer station? <laughs> <laughs> we need security. <laughs> he worked there last week, so he was the black eye. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so just um, wouldn't mind adding another TCL just because it seems like we're short people. I've got jobs that they were called from other towns, so not knowing, and these guys want to work probably some of them need to work so we shipped them to other towns and all of a sudden this morning we got a call saying we need two guys for 10 hour details up on 116 for tuesday wednesday thursday all right i was like yeah that's just not going to happen like i can't you can't call oh, me heads up might be good <laughs> and i've had many conversations but these contractors they don't know yeah. especially the ones that work for the state they could be kicked off of one place and they're like all right we'll go to conway now you know let's get that fixed up so there will be some flaggers up there, so just go slow when you're on that side of Conway. Um, have, some, have some patience. So um, I've known Max for years and years now. Um, know his dad, know his dad really well. And he approached me and he's like, hey, what do I need to do to become a traffic control officer? So I told him the steps that are gonna need, be needed. And within three days, he sent me the certificate saying, all right, I finished that, now what? I'm like, holy crap, I didn't think it was gonna be that fast. Um, so, I reached out to Veronique just to uh, uh, get the process going, and, and here we go. Great. So, Max, do you have any questions for us? Uh, I don't think so. No? Okay. All right. Max works um, for the South Deerfield Fire District, I believe, yeah, as a volunteer firefighter down there. Nice. He's also <clears throat> works Highland Ambulance as an EMT basic Great. up in Goshen. What, where do you live? Uh, South, South Deerfield. Deerfield. Yeah, I don't know. We're always already looking thought for about a more fire department uh, personnel yeah. here, just to let you know. <laughs> so, all right, great. So, so we need a motion? We need a vote? Yep. Okay, I'll make a motion to hire Max as a DC? TC? 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 Traffic control. Traffic control. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Awesome. Congrats, Max. Welcome Appreciate aboard. you having you on. Just don't be on your phone on details. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a conversation we're going to be having on the way home, trust me. Drives me nuts. Yep. Uh, it's fine if nobody's around, but if you're... Good job getting that cruiser quickly. I saw it in the paper here, so... And our well, just warrants. Just because for it doesn't mean it's going to be delivered. Well, yeah. it still is I, I actually deal. delivered it from the dealership to the upfitter. To get upfitter. Oh, yeah. Nice. So it should be in process now. I just emailed the guy because I got to figure out if he does the radio or if I have to do the radio up here. He's going to reach out to you, Ken. So I think we can call a guy locally that can do the radio. So, But maybe they can run the wires ahead of time since they're going to have it stripped up open. So I have to email him to him now. I'm hoping by next week it'll be ready. Maybe the week oh, after. Wow. So you can drive through the cemetery next to me a few times. 
or you could call us in the duly time. Let's wait four days of a weird vehicle parked in the cemetery. Oh, we have I'm for not, the festival. I'm not the paranoid. <laughs> you won't have it by the festival, will you? I'm hoping. Oh, so you can like yes. decorate that, and yeah. drive in the parade. I'm decorated. We want to put Halloween pumpkins on. No, like gourds, <laughs> flowers, dollar <I> bills. <laughs> That's Randy's vehicle on the castaway. Yeah. Well, unless right. you have anything right. else, we'll go from chief to chief here. Right. Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you All right. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Thank you. All right, next. All right, next on our new business agenda item is discussion and vote on accepting the public safety office building bid by Maple Row Farm. Oh, man. There's three seats over here. I don't know if you had a chance to review the bids. I, I did not, but I, I was wondering, <clears throat> how are these bids like vetted? Like, how do we know that the person who's bidding knows what they're bidding on and the cost is not going to increase once they start the work? Uh, did they, you Google them? They are, they are bound to that price. Oh, they're bound to it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. And how do we know their quality? Yeah, what's their track record? Well, I can tell you the, you're talking about the low bidder in this one? Yeah. Well, the, yeah, the one that yeah. bids. They, yeah. um, I don't know if you've heard of Dole Brothers? Yes, mm -hmm. up in Shelburne. Yes. Yep. Well, both Bucky and George died within the last four years. Oh, jeez. Well, Maple Road Farm used to do a lot of the dirt work for them. Mm -hmm. So he took on his crew. So they're the same people. Okay. So they have plenty of experience with doing yeah, huge large projects. buildings. Yeah. So that's why we felt pretty comfortable oh, when they good. said they wanted to do it. So it's basically them under a different name? Yeah. Under yeah. name? Okay, yeah. all right. It's, no. it's the same same guys, mm -hmm. the same carpenters. That makes me feel better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. Just with a different name. Right. Uh, I did a little internet sleep and I was like, who are these people? Yeah. <laughs> They've done work for like Tom and Shelburne. They okay. put yeah. a building up up there that they're super happy with the work that they did. Yeah, they did like a timber bridge recently too, from what I saw. Um, anyway, I've, I've seen their work before. Okay. So, yeah, there was, um, they came at $419,000. The next lowest bid was $536,712. It's a big difference. 419 for the public safety? Mm -hmm. It's good. No, that's crazy. High. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a pretty tiny building. Yeah, yeah. it is. But, yeah. but anything. Yeah, but that's I mean that's quite reasonable. Yeah. So, but it's a big difference. In yeah. The, oh yeah. No. Oh, yeah. A huge difference. Yeah. And yeah. they're local. Yep, they're local. Um, I did speak with Ben just recently once we went through this, and I said, "Are you comfortable with your number?" He says, yep, he says, we've gone through all over it dozens of times with his lead guys. Okay. And timing of them doing it? They are comfortable to start whenever we're ready. Wow. The good thing is they're close by. That's yeah. cool. And they're doing work right in this corridor. They're down at Pop Productions doing work. They're up in Asheville doing work. Nice. So, and I told him, I said, you got to understand that and we're working with all the mechanicals and electrical for the Franklin County Tech School. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can't just say, we're gonna start this day, we're gonna be ready for you know, concrete, we're gonna be ready for a slab pour, we're gonna be ready for the walls. It's not gonna happen as quick as you would normally have. Mm -hmm. He says, that's fine, because we've got projects going all up and right, down the 116 sense, corridor. Right. So we can say, okay, can move guys. we'll be gone so for two weeks, flexible. we'll go to this job. You know, That's really that school good. gets done with the phase, they can come back and do something. So I met with sorry, that's sweet music. <laughs> Time for bed. I almost put me to sleep. Time for bed. <laughs> um, 
I met with one of the uh, plumbing instructors last Thursday night at a meeting. And just to get an idea of what their schedule was, they don't have a lot of projects lined up right now. They've got a house project, but that's it. And this is, of course, it's just started. The school year's just started. But I'm meeting tomorrow night. I've got a meeting with the other instructor as well. So hopefully we'll get a, get the green light and you know, that'd be, great. be ready to move. And I understand that all the other problems that we have with the fuel tanks have been ironed out. I, I do have a question about that because I, I talked to uh, Chief Baker about this too because there needed to be some changes to the fuel tank at the uh, highway department. But why do we need two, two diesel fuel tanks? That's out of my, that's above my pay grade. Okay. <laughs> I don't know the answer. It's a state uh, requirement? Uh, no. It's twofold. Yeah. One, so they don't have to travel all the way down to the garage to get fuel. Right. But the other thing is the tornado was a good example. Yeah. We didn't have, ac if we had fuel tank down there, we wouldn't have access to our fuel. It just makes sense. We already, that tank is, was replaced five years ago yeah so it's a new tank and to get rid of it doesn't make any sense okay does it still have the same crazy requirements we went over with the actually uh, probably a lot of them requirements that you heard that day aren't true okay so we, okay we'll talk later yes <laughs> all right <laughs> got it mm -hmm. Yes, a lot of things got said that day. That we could get this done. <laughs> That's will. awesome. Let's do it. Um, so I'm sorry, the, the ARPA funding has to be spent First. September by when? December 31st. December 31st. Of 2026. 20, yeah, oh. so at the end of 2026. I'm not, I don't have a concern with yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> sorry, Donnie, you ain't getting your police on station until 2027. <laughs> We had to be obligated right by December 31st of this, this year. year. Right. Yeah. Okay. We had two more not years to be spent. spend it. But okay. It so we will obviously take from that first. Yeah. For yeah. Awesome. But yeah. I haven't talked to Peter Martin to see if he's going to do the oversight on the electrical. If he's not willing to, not an issue. We've got another local electrician in town who said he would be happy to do oversight. Send them up to the transportation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll take care of the mechanicals. He can take care of the electrical. And we should be good. Excellent. Let's do it. And we start excavating. I think Monday. Wow. All right. <laughs> so, well, so this company, are they already tomorrow. Don't we have to award the bid first? Okay. Well, yes. Yes. They have to. That's yeah. what I'm giving you the option <laughs> okay. to do. Okay. It. So did they already, are they already, um, um, oh my gosh, every contractor has to go through the town for um, a license. Are they already licensed in Conway? What do you mean licensed? For Is so that just for general contractors? They have a DCAM certification. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just thinking general yes. contractor. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so when we, when we reviewed the bids, mm -hmm. um, Andrea Woods and I up at the first call when they came in, check. that was part of her checklist. Of, yeah. Did they have a current DCAM? Got it. And, okay. Yeah, and it, it squeaked through within about, I think it was certified five days earlier or something. It was oh, very, yeah, so. For two, for two, two of, of them. Two of them, yeah. Well, it's good to know that it's basically just Dole Brothers doing it. Yeah. Nice. Business is another name. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Okay, great. All right. Can I make a motion? Sure can. Uh, make a motion. We approve the lowest bid by Maple, Road, Maple, Road, Maple Road, Farms. Road Farms. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you all so much for this your This is exciting. <laughs> it's going to happen on this project. Yes. So just so you know, the next step will be I'll let Andrea know and she'll draw the contract for uh -huh. you all. So that'll be good. I'll stop in and sign the day when it's signed before the next meeting. There's no hurry. I know. Like <laughs> Excuse me? No. <laughs> well. I thought they were coming Monday. That's right. Well, thank you, Walter. I'll come Ron in and sign it whenever you need it. Thank you. Yes, thank you all Thanks so much. Good night, man. You too. Thanks, Walter. Thanks, Kim. Okay. Going back to the top of the agenda, right? Because I don't know if anybody else waiting. Is it? All our guests are done? Yeah. Unless you're here for something specific. No, I'm All good. right. <laughs> uh, meetings attended by select board members. Erica. Uh, none since 
our last meeting. All right, Elaine. None. School is <coughs> starting up this week. So. No, I don't think I had any, but I have been talking with the bakers about the ongoing yeah, I'm like, issue at the bakers. Um, public comments. Doesn't appear we have anybody on. We'll go ahead and skip past that. Unfinished business. None to be. Wait. Sorry, do we have unfinished business? No, no it's unanticipated. Unanticipated, that's what it is. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Speaking of, items not anticipated 48 hours in advance of the meeting. Did you want to talk about the Northern Chair Railroad thing first, or? Oh, did I totally skip that? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Back to new business. Discussion and vote. Drafting a letter to support the Northern Teal Railroad line. So I've got to pull that back up. Oh, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. well, all I was going to say was that it, um, uh, and I, I should pull it back up too. Uh, oh, it's, no. yeah, it was the last. Uh, so, this was something that came in from Representative Blay um, an email that said, Take action to support the Northern Tier Rail. They're actually, th so it has the report online, and it's the public comment period on this draft final report um, and so it says that will you will you work with your community su to submit a public comment just click here and then will you work with your community to sign on to a support letter you can sign on here so it's in the body of the email that I think I forwarded to everybody so if you all are agreeable and want me to do that I could just go in and click here <laughs> sign on Yes. Um, yeah, it's all in the body. There's no attachment. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did read through it before. I don't have any input on that, aside from saying sure. I mean, I was reading about it. It sounded like they're digging into it. Yeah. You know, if it's viable. So. Rail should be should have been the past, and it should be the future. So. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and make a motion uh, to draft a letter of support for the Northern Teal Railroad line. I will second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. So, so just to be clear, I'm going to be clicking here. Yes. <laughs> I said yes. drafting, but it'll draft just be on the letter. Yeah, yes. I'll put it in first. Um, yeah, I know it's funny because when I went to college all those years ago, the train went right to Northampton. Then yeah. it shut it down for all those years, and now it's back. And it's just <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> Absolutely. Ah. Yep, you need something like the Vermonter that yeah. goes east to west and not just north to south. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it goes east to west, it's going to be so slow. Like, yeah. like it would be nice if it was fast. I, I have no idea. Let's go um, fast right now. Moving on to items not anticipated 48 hours in advance, uh, vote to sign uh, Hank's property sale. Right, so the reason this came up as unanticipated was because. Um, Town Council was on vacation and then they have this a date set for the closing for this. Now this has gone on for over a year because this was right. yeah, yeah. done through town meeting quite a while back. Um, that everybody's, all the lawyers have finally gotten everything together but the closing date September 19th and that's before your next meeting. Oh my goodness. Wow. So yes. <laughs> I was like, okay, I guess. So there's a couple of piece, people, pieces of paperwork here for you to sign that yes. she just gave me today. And they, they have a checklist of things they need for you all to be able to sell the property. One of them was a vote of the board saying um, that you uh, execute, execute the deed. The deed. Mm -hmm. So do you have that language right there? I do. Okay, great. Um, I'll make a motion that the select board execute a deed to Henry W. Horseman for the sale of Zero Ashfield Road in the amount of $6,501 as, as authorized by our town. <coughs> Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Thank you. And just so you are aware, there will be some taxes added on to that. It was like 82 something dollars that Jan yeah, has to add on it. Yeah. That, yeah. So, and that's not in there, but I will put it in.
Okay, moving on to town administrator updates. Very neat. So it was a busy week that week for we had, for me, the first RFP and the first IFP invitation for bid. So the assessor's tax assessment services RFP, um, only one bidder came in. And it was Regional Resource Group, which happens to be the vendor they're using right now on a month to month basis and Stephen Casey is the person who's through RRG. So the assessors will be meeting and then um, deciding whether they want to recommend to the select board to sign the contract with them, which would begin October 1st and run through 2027, which is 2027. Okay. So there's a, there's a little bit of an escalator each year in the contract. So, yeah. So um, hopefully we'll be having assessors get back to us and have that on the agenda for the 23rd. <coughs> um, I just wanted to bring your attention to the Community Preservation Committee. We need to drum, drum up some people to be on that committee, it, the commission. It's ex exceedingly important because the only people who can sign off on any articles that go to town meeting is the Community Preservation Committee. Mm -hmm. It can't come from anybody else to right. be using CPA funds. Mm -hmm. Right now there's no chair and they're down two members. Now in looking through the bylaw on it, it seems to me that the two positions that are were missing are one, the representative from the ComCom, -Com because Brittany has resigned from the ComCom. -Com. Mm -hmm. So I have an email in to see if there's somebody from the ComCom -Com willing to be that, otherwise that's a vacant ComCom -Com seat. And the other one in reading it, it looks like parks and recreation. They had a bunch of different variables, which I put it all up on the website so that people can see what the bylaw is. But it seems like if you don't have a park commission, the next thing was parks and recreation. Yeah. So I've talked to Jan about whether or not they want to put somebody forward from parks and rec. Such as Jan. So <laughs> I don't think she's going to do it. She's got a lot going one on. One of the things that I did notice, and I just want to bring it to everybody's attention, is that there's only two at-large seats. Mm -hmm which means everybody else on that committee is already committed to another committee, committee in town, which I think makes it problematic to get yeah. people to, to step up to be a chair, right? Yeah. Because they're already working committed. in a different yeah. yeah, so. Yeah, but also, I, I think that's also like a heavy, heavily like loaded on people yes. who are already in town. So yes. it's like, it would be great to broaden that representation. Yeah, yeah. so I just wanted to food for thought in case you know, we decide. I, I'm not even really sure what to do. If we don't get a couple of people, I, I do want to put something in the currents for October for this. Yes, yeah, definitely. Please do. But yeah. right now is, you know, when people are starting to think about things that are going to be on the warrant in June. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a long process. Do um, we have any former members we could cry on their shoulder and recruit? I can try. <laughs> Let's look at some former members. Yeah. Yeah. I just met somebody yesterday who's a new Conway resident that came from Williamsburg. Mm -hmm. um, what was her name? She just moved to New Guinea Road. Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> yeah. Williamsburg. Uh, it's way out there. I, yeah, like, it's like it's yeah, I, I know. I know of some young people I'm going to reach out to. I do too. Oh, yeah. In fact, I just hit one of them up to be a fence viewer. <laughs> um, they were not that excited about that particular okay. position, but they swore up and down that they were going to volunteer for the Festival of the Hills. Oh, okay. good. So, um, yeah, I got okay. some people in mind. Okay. Okay, so, and then we had um, our newest highway person started last week, and Corey's starting up again this week, so I think Ron's feeling like he can have a little breathing room again, finally. <laughs> Um, we're still looking for more people. Um, and I did, um, thank you, Erica, for having brought up about the coverage yeah. for prospective employees, which Sorry, I are, <laughs> no, I'm really thrilled you did. And they're not covered. So their recommendation was that you do the skills testing, but after they've been hired, and just make sure that that's very clear in your probationary period. 
Do we have that in the personnel policy? Like a, I don't know. Well, we do have a probation report, okay. but right. the skills so. test isn't in there. So you all would still have to vote that you're going to do is that kind of That's, skills yeah, testing. Right. But it would be after the point of hire. Right. It would have to be at, unless, I mean, as Maya was saying, well, it depends on how much risk the town wants to take on. I'm like, yeah, I don't think we want it take on between both the equipment and, and yeah. personal injury and yeah um, no so and I can talk with Ron more about I've asked him to come up with what his checklist would be um, in terms of the actual skills testing but even even if that person does successfully do all those things there's still other parts of the job that might do the probationary yeah. period make it so that he's like yeah no this isn't really a great candidate that's true so yeah so in other words that wouldn't be the only test and they do own a right. professional license already right they, yes right so. but maybe there's something in the personnel policy that says skills testing will be done within the first i don't know Period of time. Could be any. It could weeks. be any time. Yeah, yeah, but up to. So I think, and you know, I don't know how much we want to rush this. It might be best for us to the personnel committee's meeting soon. We can discuss that with them, mm -hmm. and then come back to you. And yeah. you know, okay. Thanks for taking us from legal. I yes. Yeah. 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 Drama there. I felt bad. I was like, oh damn, we can't do that. But. So you don't feel bad. That was okay. Good. All right. right. I'm like, um, help. So our IT working group met. Um, and there's some vendors, and it's funny because two of the ones that were recommended, it turns out, had both been bought out by another company in the meantime. So, mm -hmm. so we're, but I put together a, an initial spreadsheet of all the different services you want to be sure that you have, and I've sent it to the group, so I'm going to get their feedback, and then we'll start calling the companies and kind of filling out the chart for each of them so we have something apples to apples to compare. Um, there used to be one right down on 116, was it? Uh, but they moved to East Hampton. They seem like they're huge now. What the heck were their name? We're looking at um, Com Computing, Entree Technology, Suzor IT, um, so, Source Pass, I think, is the one that Argus or that um, that bought out Suite Three and. Integrated business systems. So now it's sort. I think it's Source Pass. It's called. Then there's Novus, and then there's there's Northeast IT, and then what was the last one? Suzor IT. So, yeah. Okay. Yep. And then I did get that that um, scanner, and I took one of my you know my messy handwriting, one of my books, and just opened it up and scanned it and went in and sure enough it flattened out the book for me and it took out my fingers where they were i found out you can't put them in the corners but if you just hold it down like that you know it's still good to hold it as flat as you can but and it read your worked. handwriting it well no it scanned my handwriting and then i had a free i had 10 free tries of pen to print mm. and so i put it through that and it actually i mean i think it was 95 percent wow accurate. i wow. couldn't believe it I really could. So my thought was we could, you know, get the. Um, oh, and Stephen and I are working um, Wednesday on the senior tax work off and veterans tax work off. So I was thinking if we get, you know, somebody who can just run that scanner and start getting things in there. Once everything's already scanned, then we can just pay for the pen to print and, mm -hmm. you know. It's a great yeah. so cool. use for that. The other thing that came up though when I mentioned this to a couple of other town administrators was the idea of getting all these records codified mm -hmm. and so that might be something that I could put in for a grant mm -hmm. as well to to do so I'm trying okay. to find vendors right now to do that because that would be so huge if we could get this all scanned done and then it's already codified and then right. we could just put it on the website and, you know, that'd so, be cool yeah yeah yeah, finding discontinued roads. Oh, and I forgot to mention that. Well, Lee just came in today, and she has the map now for Avery Road in the um, Conway State Forest. So she's going to try to find whatever she can on the background of that road and whether oh, nice. it was discontinued or not. She's, I think, fairly certain at DCR that owns it as well. But, you know, so still trying to get to the bottom. Good. <laughs> Detective work. Yes. Yes. Great. And that's that. Thank you very much. Gonna get busy okay. fast. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's move on to mail before we do comments and concerns. 
Deer, Deerfield River Wild and Scenic. Hmm. Right, so this is something that the select board already sent a letter of support for, and now all they're asking is for the repre a representative to be appointed to attend these, I think it's nine monthly meetings, and they start up in October. So they're looking for, we would ask that you seek to identify a representative that is interested in and knowledgeable about the river and who can represent your community's interests in the river. This could be someone for open space or the CONCOM or an interested citizen. So if anybody. So, the, okay. The, the, the committees were having a hard time getting people to join. Um, yeah, I, I, can't, I can't think of anybody. Or maybe somebody from Friends of the South River, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know Janet Shays has got a lot on her plate. But That's what I was She'd be say. ideal <laughs> Janet would be if, she, if she were willing. Maybe we just ask. Yeah. yeah. Give her some chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to ask her? <laughs> yeah, sure. sure. Okay. Sure, yeah. Yeah, and if, she, if she's <coughs> unable to, she'd probably also be the best person to recommend somebody. Right. She can't. All right. Yeah. I mean, Veronique never has to ask twice, though. Ask Adam. Yeah, I'll ask her. <laughs> Great, thank you. Did you get that one? <laughs> Just rolling out. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Great. That's great. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Elaine, for getting with Janet. Um, moving on to the next item: Select Board Member Comments and Concerns. Any comment? Not here either. No announcements. Next meeting is going to be September 23rd, unless there's anything else. Oh, sorry. Yes. Oh, yes. So here we yes, go. Yes, 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 yes. No, uh, it's the. Um, are you all able to all be here for the remarks and refreshments on the 16th? Yes. Yes. So I should have us post that as your next select board meeting. Okay, because I will not be here on the 23rd or the 24th, which is fine. I don't think that's okay. I mean, if you guys want to go so ahead. The 16th are, Monday. Are you sure you'll be here on the yes. 23rd? I will be here on the 23rd. That's uh, yes. Monday. Okay. I will be here on the 16th. I will not be here on the 23rd. So, okay. yes, yeah, so it's next Monday night here from 5 30 to 7. Okay. okay. And they're going to take care of bringing in refreshments and stuff. But but if all of you are coming, I wanted to be sure to post it as a select yes. board meeting. Nice. So. Okay. Great. Thank you, Barony. All right. I'll make a, a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.